guys welcome to my channel i'm april honey today we're gonna be doing a code that i get asked for a lot i get asked for clothing codes probably more than anything in the world so we're gonna be doing a cute little outfit for you to wear at any time of year but especially cute for this little snowy time of year we're gonna be making a plaid jacket dress kind of combination the first thing I'm gonna do as usual is pick my color palette I'll put my color palette down in the description below but you're welcome to use any color palette that you'd like my island personally right now is green yellow and like creamy colors and i wanted to make my outfit kind of match my island a little bit so i went ahead and went for this kind of like a limey yellowy green i like greens that are a little more on the yellow side of the spectrum than the blue so i went ahead and made it that color and the first thing i'm going to do is make the split down the middle of the shirt i am definitely looking over on the little canvas on the side not the little canvas the little model on the side to see where all of the things that i'm placing land i'm going to add in some shading just for some natural touches right here you guys can handle this however you want i do it very simply i do know a lot of people like to do very very detailed shading i'm not one of those people and then i'm going to start working on like a plaid or a tweed almost kind of pattern i just want it to look a little bit checkered almost and i want like a texture pattern and i think this one's really fun so i'm just gonna go across and um, place these all the way across if you use the ZR button you can mirror on the both sides the way I'm doing right now and then I'm gonna go down and of course I'm going to place the crossways it started as stripes and now it's going to be checkered but you know we're gonna go all the way down and into the cross paths I made a little bit of a mistake but we're gonna fix it because with the ZR, I tried to repair it and you can't actually do it like that because it does a mirror on the two sides. So you can only do the horizontal lines mirrored. You cannot do the vertical lines mirrored. So that's a quick note for anyone who is trying to do this. And then wherever they intersect, I'm putting a darker square and that really just makes it um, look a little bit more like the gingham kind of pattern. And I really wanted to bring that into this coat. I love the way this pattern is turning out so far with the stronger lines and then the little checkered patterns in between. Um, I think later on I might take this little idea and do a patchwork kind of coat uh, in the future. I think that would be really cute using several different kinds of patterns and doing like a little patchwork coat. That might be pretty adorable anyways that is what we're doing here um i did try to experiment with doing something a little bit different in the intersections but that didn't end up working out for me so we're gonna go ahead and just move it along i did make it a little bit lighter the whole coat a little bit lighter and less saturated just because that's the way i liked it and then i'm gonna go ahead and add some buttons the buttons do need to be very very dark and make sure that you space them well otherwise it won't it won't transfer very well and we're gonna make the collar so the collar i also use the zr tool for it just makes it a little bit easier and um you know just easier is always better and then we're gonna add a little bit of shading to give that collar a little bit of lift we just want it a little lifted it's already patterned into the coat, so I followed the natural line of the coat. Now going to the back, I'm just going to make everything the same as the front. And I'm gonna ignore the fact that on the sides of the coat, there's gonna be one extra square on both sides, but I noticed on the character, the way the arms fall, you can't tell, you know, it's not a noticeable thing. I did forget to just color drop the entire main color from the beginning which i should have done and you know life happens i forgot so we went ahead and we did that a little bit late and now i'm just gonna follow the same pattern as the front of the coat except i'm gonna do it all the way across the back because the back you know we just want it to be one pattern all the way across it's really really simple this is a very simple design anyone can do it you can do it in any color that you want 
Of course, while you're welcome to use my color palette, I do encourage you to experiment with colors. Sometimes that means, and this is always a good tool that I use, sometimes if you make it in one color and then you just shift that hue over a little bit several times, then you can experiment with seeing it in different colors. And I think that helps a little bit to create your own sort of color palette for something like this. It does make it a little bit easier. I don't know why I didn't go all the way to the middle, but it's okay. So we're gonna go all the way across, just like we did in the front, and we're gonna take our little tool and we're going to add one little square where they all intersect to create our gingham again. I'm loving the way this looks on the little mannequin. I just love the way it looks. I think that even just adding that little dot changes so much of the coat. You can see the difference from the bottom half where I've been done and the top half where it has not been done. So cute. I love the way that's coming out over there. And that's what I use as my guide. If I'm loving the way it looks on the little mannequin, then of course I'm going to love how it looks in real time, in real life when I'm doing it. I did go back and I fixed those squares in case you're wondering. <laughs> they didn't stay like that in the middle where I missed the little thing. See there, I'm fixing it. And then we're just gonna do our collar. The collar's a pretty simple thing as well. I'm just following the natural collar that is already on the jacket. And then I'm adding a little shading and then I'm gonna put a little bit of shading underneath to make it really pop a little bit more than the natural texture of the jacket makes it. And on the front, I'm also gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna take the darker version of the colors that I'm using and add just a little bit of shading to make it pop a little bit. Um, and then on the sleeve, we're going to uh, do the same pattern across that we have in the front and then on the bottom i'm going to make a little white cuff i think the cuff just looks really cute and white to kind of match with the collar that we have going on we're making the sleeve the same gingham pattern i just want some continuity i don't really want it all to be very different so we're just gonna make it exactly the same hopefully you guys like that I'm gonna take pictures of it for the thumbnail in several different colors, but for right now, um, while I was recording, I did only make this color variation, but I will add in the thumbnail several different colors that you can make this jacket, and I do think it looks nice in a variety of colors. So hopefully you guys try experimenting with it and experimenting with your colors. At the very end, I was like, oh, you know what? I wanna add a belt. If you're wondering about the other sleeve, all I did was copy and paste. So I wanted to add pockets in the front and a belt. I did debate putting them on top or on bottom. I did settle with on bottom because I think they look cuter down there. And um, I don't know, when I wear jackets like that, they tend the sleeves tend to be where, or the pockets tend to be where my sleeves end. So I wanted that to mimic kind of the clothes that I would wear in real life as well, or real life clothing. And we just added a little bit of shading to the pockets to make them look a little bit more natural as well and not so perfect. And then I wanted a belt, like I just said, and we're adding the belt here. And to give it a little bit of texture, I used the dark and the, the combination of two dark browns. And then I did shade it more on the ends and use the darker color on the edges a little bit more. Uh, I think it came out really nice though. And we're done. This is how we came out. I think it looks super, super cute. You'll have to let me know if you used it. I went ahead and went with a green to match the faux shearling boots, but there are several different color options that you can use for this code. Hopefully you guys like it, you make it. If you do, you'll have to send me a picture. I love to see it. Thank you guys so much for being here. I know you can be absolutely anywhere in the internet and I appreciate you spending a little bit of your time here with me. I hope everyone has an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.